Hello, this is Philip, and welcome to my channel for this new episode of KOS. I try to keep my episode short, as short as possible. Uh, I know some of my episodes last for 25, 30 minutes. I try to keep <laughs> to keep my episodes under 20 minutes, but sometimes it's very difficult because uh, I have lots lot to say. Uh, this episode, though, should be... Uh, shorter I, I try to keep it short <laughs> uh, this is a new probe uh, in orbit um, I added a, a reaction wheel and uh, some lights as in navigation with uh, boats or uh, planes I add a green light in the uh, starboard and uh, so the right side and um, red light in the left side and the blinking white light is the top of my uh, of my craft top in the meaning of the top vector as we saw in the episode about the vector in this way it's uh, easier to uh, for us to see where are uh, the top side or the right side of my craft Right, so today uh, will be about uh, steering um, and how to uh, lock the uh, steering variable. Uh, the steering is just the direction where your uh, ship is facing at. Uh, so you just have to uh, write in your script lock steering. And uh, you have to lock your steering at a direction or a vector. You can you can be both. And uh, one important uh, direction is uh, can be set with the uh, the keyword adding. So lock steering to adding. And uh, that keywords keyword need needs uh, two uh, numbers and uh, sometimes a, th a third number. So just a test here. Uh, if I write log steering to uh, adding 20 and uh, 45, uh, and I will do until uh, false. Okay, the message, I have to turn off the SAS. Okay, so my craft uh, is in position. And uh, now if you try to uh, understand the numbers 20, 45, you can just watch at the nav ball. And uh, the 45 is uh, the line here. Uh, this is the uh, angle from the top of your nav ball. Okay, so for example, uh, if I want to uh, do this, you see the top of your nav, not the top of your nav ball is a uh, ninety, and uh, each graduation gives you an angle from ninety to uh, zero. So I can uh, log twenty zero so zero is the horizon line okay and the 20 the first number the 20 is the angle from the north you have here the the orange line is the north line and 20 is 20 degrees from uh, the north okay so for example now if i write uh, 45 here and uh, let's say 10 so the 45 here at that line is 45 degrees from north and the 10 degrees here is 10 degrees above uh, the horizon. Okay. Um, I can unlock uh, the steering. For example, here, uh, if I try to move my craft manually with my uh, uh, keyboard, I can't. I'm, you, you should... <laughs> hear that I'm tapping my keyboard and my boat my boat not my boat my craft uh, doesn't move because uh, the steering is locked I can unlock unlock steering 
and this way I can manually move my craft again. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, if I want to lock my steering to a uh, south, for example, so one and eighty degrees, one hundred eighty degrees, and uh, here, for example, fifty, just uh, for the test. Okay. So here we are uh, 180 degrees from north okay so we are facing south and 50 degrees above the horizon this is the 50 you can see here the line here okay now if you uh, now if you want to uh, uh, lock your steering uh, to progress you can uh, lock steering to prograde. If I write prograde, it's a direction, and if I write prograde vector, it's a vector. You can write both because a steering works with direction or vector. You see, uh, it, 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 KOS needs some time to adjust uh, the facing vector to uh, the prograde here. So. You have to be patient and in your script you have to take that into account you uh, you must write a wait a certain amount of time to be sure that uh, the prograde is uh, the facing vector is in the same direction that the prograde um, I forgot to mention uh, the third number here is um, it's optional and for example, if I add here the third number, uh, 90. So 180 is the north. It's um, the angle from north. So here it is south. 50 is the angle from the horizon. Okay, so it is the 50 here. And uh, the 90 here is uh, your rotation around uh, the axe of your craft. And uh, for example, uh, here, it's uh, the 90 degrees say that uh, the, the, this arrow, okay, is uh, pointing to uh, uh, to east. I don't know. It's uh, it makes very uh, makes sense. But let's let's say I want here zero zero. Okay, you have your uh, your top vector here. Uh, pointing up you see here uh, the, the the arrow rep represents the opposite of the top vector okay so the point here is uh, is up because it's zero if I uh, write uh, 45 the the top vector okay is um, the um, is going to uh, 45 I can't find the words to explain you that, but uh, I think you understood that uh, this number it it's just an angle uh, around your 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 craft. It's a, a it's called the roll uh, angle. Okay, so you have the pitch, the yaw, and the roll, and uh, this is the roll angle, right? So uh, if I want to you know to do that, I can say okay back to north zero. Uh, 80 and 0 again okay look. this way I'm pointing to north 80 degrees from the horizon so I'm in the top of the knife ball okay and uh, 0 means that my top vector is here okay so this is quite all about uh, steering you can steer to um, direction or a vector to choose a precise direction, you can choose heading, the angle from north and the angle from horizon. And uh, if you want, you can precise a, a roll angle. You can uh, steer to a vector, for example, to prograde vector. You can steer to uh, uh, like steering to retrograde. Okay, so your vector is going retrograde now. Automatically, you see that it uh, changes uh, the roll uh, angle and it takes time to uh, go at uh, the center of the retrograde uh, mark here. 
I have changed my uh, library variables. I uh, I added two function, a function normal vector and a function rodual vector. Um, the normal vector function is uh, to create the uh, uh, normal vector <laughs> and the function radial vector creates the radial vector. I can add a parameter here uh, that is uh, optional and um, I let's say here and it's one. Okay, and um, I want to uh, create the uh, local uh, norm vector to that number. Okay, so this is the uh, cross product uh, of two vectors, the body position progress vector. You have to, you have to watch at the uh, episode about vectors if you want to understand uh, this. Uh, and I want to multiply that vector by uh, this uh, tier parameter. Okay, so, uh, and then I just return norm vec. That means that if I call uh, the normal vector, the function normal vector uh, like this, the parameter is one and uh, it returns my uh, normal vector. If I put here negative one, it will be uh, the anti-normal vector. Okay, and uh, I'm doing the same here for the radial vector. So, uh, red vec, and then I uh, return red vec. Okay, um, this way I can uh, use the uh, lock steering to normal vector. Okay, and here I can write one for example. Uh, you can write 1, 2 and uh, negative 12 if you want. The more important is the direction of the vector. So a positive number, the vector will be in the same direction that the normal vector. In the negative, uh, with a negative number, uh, the vector will be in the opposite, di uh, the same direction. But uh, if the normal vector is going up, the uh, normal anti-normal vector is going uh, down. There is no up or down in, in space, but I hope you understand. Okay, so I can wait log steering to a normal vector. And um, we saw that um, it takes time for the, the craft to, uh, to be in the right position. So I can wait until the direction of my ship. So ship facing a vector. Okay, this is a direction. I want a vector. The ship facing vector is as has the same direction that the normal vector. For that, um, the one is not is uh, optional. I can write uh, nothing at all. Uh, for that, uh, I can write v ang for a vector angle. If the two vectors are in the same direction, the angle between the two vectors is zero. Here I don't want to uh, wait until the angle is exactly zero because uh, it could never happen. Uh, just say for example less than 0 0.2 or 3 or even 5. If 0 0.5 is good enough and I can print uh, steering. Uh, okay. Um, wait two seconds. And uh, I can do the same with a number negative one. And here I have to write the same. And uh, I can try again with the radial vector. Okay, and uh, here radial vector. And the same here. negative one and negative one okay let's uh, let's tr let's try this Good. Okay, here we go steering to the normal vector you see the angle is uh, 
not quite equal to zero, but it is close to zero now. So here, see, zero point five is a very pr precise vector. Steering, okay, okay, changing to the anti-normal. It was too quick. Here we are waiting the craft to be facing to uh, the uh, radial in vector. Okay, and the radial out. Okay, you see the angle is decreasing and when it is less than 0 0.5 steering okay okay this is the end of this uh, episode not much to say but uh, the lock steering uh, command instruction is very useful <laughs> uh, uh, and it will be very useful to uh, gravity turns but uh, it, it is uh, useful to uh, maneuver nodes and uh, each time you you need to do a precise maneuver uh, you you'll have to uh, lock your steering to some vector or some direction i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and see you soon for the next one bye bye